nice to see you too. How do you how do you feel about this event? Talk to us about it. I think that this event was very important. I mean, for me, I think one of the distinctions is that I'm Phil M. And uh, a lot of the things that happen happened before I was born. So I guess it's like the telephone game. The things that I know about um, all of these occurrences were not just um, like transmitted through a lapse in time, but then it was also across the ocean. So for us, we've seen some of these like big figures, you know, like Corazon Aquino, like also the Marcoses, but we did not know what was the history behind or the things that people suffered um, throughout that period of time. And so for me to get more details and to see it up in up close and personal through, you know, vicariously through the photos, really put some things into perspective. Do you feel, what do you feel about, was there, did you get in a lot of feedback from other people in the community that, that came to this event? It was amazing actually seeing people who lived through it, yeah, and hearing those stories, you know, and and uh, the stories of their teachers crying and stuff like that, like it really brought it home and it lets you know that history is not just something that you see in a book or on a wall, like it's real life that impacts real people in real time. So I, I think that was another important thing. Yeah, hearing from different generations, other people who also like me weren't born during that time, you know, maybe even after my generation who said that going to this exhibit or being involved um, help them understand even more like why these things are important. It even lets us like put into perspective what happened in the most recent election in the Philippines. So um, did, before you came here, what was your expectation and then what's the afterwards? I wasn't sure what to expect, um, but I, I thought it was just going to be, you come here and, you know, like most art galleries, I thought you would come and see these large photos and you would just stand around and reflect and then just walk around. But it wasn't like that. It was, it was informative. There was uh, information given. It wasn't just about looking at a still photo, but there was a, an entire presentation um, that gave the context of what we were looking at. Um, and I think that contextualization was essential uh, to have that briefing before going around and looking at the photos. It made the photos hit a little harder. And then some of the contradictions that I saw in them, some of the photos, you know, like some of them depicted violence and war. And some of them were like, wow, glamour, like, you know, Imelda Marcos. But behind that, <laughs> all these other things. So um, what you learn afterwards? Mm. What did I learn? Or what, what do you see now after you came to this exhibit and what are you going to take? Um, I, I feel both a sense of, I mean, I, I, this might not be what you want to hear, but I feel both a sense of hope and hopelessness, you know, um, in the sense that it's like history repeating itself, I mean, in a way. Uh, so it's like, what, what do we do? What can we do? It's a lot of people afraid to do. Um, and then it's a lot of people who don't even know where to begin or uh, how to begin, you know, if they could. So that's what I mean is like hope because we have access to the information. Hope because there are people who even came here tonight who are actively working in their communities, who are actively speaking up. You know, and then that sense of uh, like, wow, like what I, you you do feel like, how can these kind of things happen again? You yeah. know, and um, do you feel that um, it brings closer to the community when you met new people? And <laughs> what do you feel about that? Is Definitely. That um, I think events like this, especially at an international university, um, it brought together like a lot of people, not just in the Filipino community, but then also I met people from Vietnam. I met people from uh, right here in South Florida. There were black people, there were white people, there were Asian people. It was like a mixture of people who were there, but definitely within the Filipino community. It was good seeing uh, our 
own community show up and support. And then people who even came here and said, thank you for like, you know, to SoFlo Filipinos in particular, for like promoting the event and talking about it. So it just shows that our network is working and that uh, our community is, you know, moving together. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to seeing you again in the community. Thank you too.